Good car meets were once hard to find in GTA Online. Oh my god, bro. Oh, hell, hell no, man. What the fuck, man? Get your ass on. <laughs> to change that, I created the Stance Society crew. And one year on, the community's exploded to over 10,000 members. To mark the occasion, we hosted a meet showcasing some of our crew's best cars. Here's what happened. So to start off, we're just going to have a quick overview on the cars. We've got a nice lineup going here, all sorts of different styles of build. So I just want to take a quick look to see what kind of thing people have brought. So we've got some of the European and Japanese whips towards the front. I must say we've got some nice Porsches here. I've not missed out though on the American muscle. Got some awesome rims on that green wood. Then as we come towards the back, we've got some more classic builds. i got to say though, we've got some really nice colors pretty much across the board here. We've got some sick crew colors on some of these cars. Then as we come to the back, we've got some more Japanese cars and a Ford Escort. Then if we come over here, we've got like an Evo 10. We've got some more track builds with the Gullwing. And then we finish it up with some tuner builds. I am looking forward to this meet. To start us off, I figured we'd go in with a classic. We'll go with the R32. We've got this in a really nice blue. And have everyone parked up on the grass with this kind of grid setup. So this is looking fire so far. I'm going to hit you guys with the cinematic and then we'll check out the cars. So now let's take a closer look at some of the cars. We've got the Glendale up here first, lovely classic build, great color, great rims. And towards the back, we've got some of these tuner builds. We've got a nice Vector and the 350Z together on BVSs. Then around this corner, we've got the Gullwing, absolute classic, and then a really nice SC300 with that peach. Coming around the front, we've got a couple of JDM builds from Lampy and Inspired. You love to see the colors on these things. They are brilliant. And we've got the McLaren F1 right here in the purple. This thing is absolutely sick. And then if we come towards the middle over here, we've got a different range of whips. We've got some of the luxury builds, got a bit of a tuner build going on with the Porsche and then a nice slammed Honda Civic. What can I say? Lovely cars. After being surrounded by all that heat, we decided to cool off in the pool and came to Beverly Hills. We've got nothing but classic cars for this spot, so I'm gonna run you through a few of them. First up, we've got these beautiful Ferrari 250s here. These are amazing builds and I just can't get enough of them. If we come around to the side here, we've got the old school E30 here next to the legendary Ferrari F40. I know it's a bit basic, but you gotta love the car. And then over here, one of my all time favorite cars in the crew, we've got Barrow here with that Cheetah Classic in that wonderful blue. And then we got DK pulling up with the yellow E30. Just before we leave, we have to check out the clean 190Z. This thing is sick. So now we're at the next spot and I just had to do it. I had to bring out the 6 Series. The Zion Classic is honestly going to be one of my favorite cars in the game. Such a brilliant car, a lot of mods. And if you don't have one, go ahead and pick one up. I love this thing. Anyways, we come around towards the front. We got ourselves a really nice old school Weevil build here. That surfboard is awesome. And then right at the front, we got that Tuna build EK9. That turbo is crazy. If we come around to the side, we've got the Redwood Squad here. Love the coordination. The duo is awesome. And then we've got a few slammed BMW builds around this side as well. The 5 Series and then the M2. Love to see it. We've got an E30 from Tomas here. The Rally build goes hard. And then right in front of it, we've got one of the best EK9 builds I've seen. This thing is awesome. I love that livery on there. I'll tell you what, one thing I'm loving at this meet is the minis. The minis have been on point. I don't think I've seen a single bad one. There have been, I think, four or five so far. And all of them have been sick. And these are no different. Got the giant wing here on the Porsche. Loving the color on this thing. And then right here, we've got the Itali GTO. Normally you see these more of a race style, but this thing looks clean as well. For this next spot, we went all out and came to the golf course with some high-end whips. Let's have a quick showcase. You do not see too many Osiris's out here nowadays. It's such a nice car to see. Also got some really nice Ferraris out here, a couple of McLarens, and then the Cyan with the super nice gold rims on there. We've also got quite a few of the new Audis, the 10Fs. 
The styling on these is really nice. Can't wait for the wide body version. And we've got this gorgeous red contouch right here. And then if we look over this way, we've got some sick rims. I think those are hypnotics on the Slam Bentley. These are some sick whips. Anyways, let's run it to the LS Customs and see what else we got. The fire cars just keep on coming. We've got the sick Impala rolling in here. This thing is crazy low. There's like millimeters off of the ground. And then over here, we got the duo of the Hurricanes. This one with the bumper delete looks amazing in that purple. And then as we come around this way, we've got the Comet S2 build. This thing looks really nice with that cyberpunk livery. We've also got the Euros. We've got a couple of them actually. Really nice builds here with the Cosmo Mark 3s. The rims just fit the car so well. We've got that BMW M2. Once again, the Cypher in this game, absolutely peak whip. And then we've got the old school Slam Van. This thing is a really nice rusty build. This thing just looks super clean. Now I'm interested to hear your opinions on doing more meat content like this. If you enjoyed it and would like to see another awesome meat we had, check out this video here. Don't forget to join the Discord server for daily clean meat. And remember to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed. It's greatly appreciated. Thank you all very much for watching and have a wonderful rest of your day.